truth has shining away. And sunshine or in shadows, all up will help you through. Oh my God. We greet you, we greet you. With loyal hearts, we greet you. With songs and flowers, we welcome you today.
So it is the first time now when it's the probationary time. When Satan went to one of the months, he for his The son allows Satan to do his will. Satan takes away if you allow him to. My but God. he has nothing. Jesus first step, what all man can have is humility. My God. Because at the present position of humility, when Jesus was taken as a sheep to his share, he God. could have fight, he could have get away. But he never did so. My God. This is why when the son cautious because of the greed from Satan. And ask the father for his portion. Because as it was in those times, it is still now mm. that whatever father or whatever parent a parental guide, it passed on to children. Mm -hmm. But you know, he could do it. He called he portion one time to go up and make a show. And I think I'm the wrong company. And if Satan have dominion over you, God allow him. That he will learn a lesson. Maybe. Just as he has his Satan, and then show him when he tempted to Job, he told him. All Satan ruled his way, that he could go into and do what he wanted to do by grabbing his greed from his father and walk away. God allow him. Show him that he has come right back. Show him the honor. According to Revelation to 2270, look at him when you have a chance. Is that a friend, a reference of invitation when the father received his son who was lost because of grace and sin? Ready to have many children does the same. And when they find themselves in difficulties, they have to go right back. Be humble. To be humble is Christ's life. So even fathers today have to walk. They have to watch and pray that they have to be humble. Because they too at times are being tempted and tried. And if you're not humble and standing on the trussle of righteousness and humility, sometimes it's different. Right? Right. My God. But by God is his own. And it makes everything plain oh. and straight. Oh, yes. So, men and brethren, today, fathers all, the only way you can enjoy life in a calm living is to be a good father. Whether you have children, yes or no. The calmness come, the love of salvation, the precious blood that Jesus oh, shed oh. for you. Even as a young one, they not have children. Torture. You do in the will of the master oh that you're God. able to guide the children of the light to the way of righteousness. I am loving gratitude, serving God, His spirit and me. Fathers today, hold fast for that which is good. God is good. Trust God. He, he will guide you on your way. And you will always remember a little him to sing to him. That though in summers or in pain, you will always remember. Thank God. Because one day he sent me for the glory of resurrection, for soul salvation, for the souls of men on the face of you. When you said men, it represents men to it. Because the lot of women, there this will be as father, father is the children. But I thank God and I give God right. For that, for that cause, today I will say to you, God, be the glory, great and
Jesus. Amen. Jesus, never
the, the father, after having asked this question, been asked this question by the younger people, you know, the one who felt well, he was ready for it, ready for the outside. He said he divided to them. He didn't say divided. He didn't give him what is it. He divided to them what is theirs. And within the household of faith, you know, this is what happens at times. Even within your own household, as far as, you know, someone feels, um, I live long enough under your guidance and under your tutorship and under your discipline and under your orders, your, your authority. And I think it's time now for me to, to, to set up shop somewhere else time for me to go my own and do what I want, you know, do it how I want it. Only to realize after time that after facing the outside and the experience, it, everything becomes a failure. You see, preparation for duty in Christ or preparation for duty a man on his own. My God. But look at Okay, and still ready for my responsibility. But we have to be responsible in strength and in faith. We have to be responsible with the spirit of the living God. Today we see that the young man, we read about the young man, he took it and he went outside and he did he spent it all you want, just spend it lavishly, you know, with, and with prostitutes and he eat, eat and drink and he had much friends. Funny enough, that privilege he had was short lived because everything that he took was everything he had. He didn't have anything that was spiritual strength or mm -hmm. value or virtue. He had money. He had chance, the thing it takes to make make and everything has left him, of course, at the web seller, when you have you're good to go. But the tone as your money done, that is a different part. As you say, the fool and his money will. This is not what it's all about. Having money in my pocket doesn't, doesn't um, reassure me or provide for me a life of comfort, peace, and safety. My a life of rich understanding in Christ. A life that of stability, strength, and growth. It doesn't provide for me a life that I will be proud of because then I did not have the mindset to handle what I chose. Oh, yeah. Today we know that a lot of young men, you know, a lot of, we, we talk about men as fathers, they, um, they, 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 they may choose the, the broad way and the highway and the bad way, but it is to place the limits. But even if they make that choice, they're going to be making a choice off of misunderstanding, My off of what they feel and what they feel they can handle, what they feel they can do. The Lord is also showing us that, you know, when the, 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 the truth dawns upon them, when the reality comes to the past of the errors of the ways, oh, yes. whether it's in your personal home or whether it is within the house of God, or the house of God is suffering a lot. We and fathers um, have that strength in them. They have to be looking out because the father was looking out. He never gave up looking out. He knew to himself, this boy's attitude, his mannerism, his whole outlook. So the time is going to soon come when he will have to come back. Truly. His father knew that. Oh, yeah. He had it, you know, and you look to see, he had it out. He didn't make no fuss. He just said, you want yours? Okay, you have yours, and you are going to give you a portion. And we remembering that, you know, everything everything that is not based on God's discipline and that is purely going to come to, to failure. My God. So he kept looking out to his son all the time because he knows what, you see, experiences tell you. It, it teaches us how to weigh and sit, how to understand, how to look, how to, you know, how, how to handle the situation, what what you expect to come to pass, what certain actions will bring, or certain reactions, you know, and he, so he had this man open there looking for his son. Moses didn't say that he was praying, but we know a father will pray, 
and it has to be the same way as into a spiritual home. You know, the, the young man, many times they see them on and they come out and they say, well, they become the leader, they become a what, they become a what, and you who have been there and you did the job, they suddenly make you feel like, well, if, well you, you really didn't know anything, you know. You're not able to carry on anymore. I have it. I have it done. I, I am able to do what you cannot do anymore. But you see, wisdom builds a house and understanding finishes it. Oh and he, as a father, as I said, he kept his part. But when he took a look one day and he saw the sun coming back, you know, I know he was looking in expectation because he would have been oh, praying. Yes. And it's a kind of quality that the Lord wants us to have. He wants us not when, you know, sometimes they turn and they do things to really hurt us. But the Lord is showing us we have to keep a spirit and a mindset and an understanding that tells us that we will also slip and slide. We will also do things that will cause him to be displeased with us. But he he is always open, ready, and waiting. He is always there looking out for us. Yes, he knows that that day is going to come, and he always there waiting already with his arms open up to receive us. Because he says, I never die in soul to save. It will be always have to be refreshing. This soul, we always have to be praying. We always have to be fighting to ensure that we move to the heavenly kingdom. The other son and the other, when the father saw him coming, he was so happy. You know, when he went and he kicked the father tap, they didn't say a father tap. They said the V father tap, which means there was a special tap there. There was a special animal. And it was a special one you went and killed and gave them a the ring and the coat oh and God. things like that. You dress up up and you press for the feet. And you know, the one who was the only time when you and the music and you know, the, the, you know, when they hear when you come and you come from the field and you hear and daddy ask, What is that all about? And you say, Well, say, Well, your brother come home, you know, yeah. and your father killed the father calf. Which means it's a choice one again, you know, and the, Dress him up and he fix him up and he make him merry and he was so disappointed, you know, he couldn't he couldn't accept. He said, Father look so long I here with you. You know, and he never did any of this for me. And look, my brother gone out and he waste his time and he do all kinds of things. And he come back from a new home, he went to the time with time welcome. You see. And the father said, Don't matter, don't worry, Dad. He said, You are always here. I didn't, you know, I don't really have that because you are always here, but he was lost, and now he's when you come back home, and this is what I'm rejoicing about, and God is telling us the same thing, you know, the old, oh, yeah. those who went out and come up, we have, we have to bring them back much more with the joy, with the True. reception that the Spirit is bringing, you see, oh, yeah. so that we could win, but not only the presence, the body, and the soul, to let them feel confident that, listen, we are comfortable having you back with that holding this against you. Oh, yes. While the other brother, oh, he, he had to understand, you know, like when we had to understand as fathers too. Sometimes, you know, we, we give credit to the one, and the one who's here was just side, and we never really paid that attention. So it's a lesson showing us how we have to even show appreciation for those who are standing with us and for us My and at our side, those who have been constant. And they are our upkeep, you know, our realm, our bearers. Oh, yes. It is a lesson that is more based, you know. It is a lesson to help us to understand. In the measurement of faith, in the measurement of love, mm-hmm. in the measurement of understanding, how we handle and how we treat people is how God will want us to be. Mm-hmm. We are not to condemn anybody. We are not to mm-hmm. destroy them. We are to welcome them back as he will welcome us back in the kingdom because... We, we all have times, you know, there, there are times in our life when we will always, so as all the lessons pass by, we realize so many of us just show us like Peter, like Saul and Paul, 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 yes. in John the Baptist. So many things show us, you know, that we, we need to be ready, vessels ready, 
Mm-hmm. Really, this is the words of the Lord to subject ourselves, not to the will of God, just for ourselves. We have to be ready oh, yes. to stand in as sort of authority and to bring things under control and to bring our spiritual homes in the control, to bring mm-hmm. our own physical, our own homes in control, to bring things under control the way it's supposed to be. We are not to destroy, let us come back home. Once you come back, you know, once you come back, and if ever then come back, we have the opportunity to go and search it out, we My can God. need to do so. Because the father was looking for him. When the father was, he couldn't tell where he could have been. So he and what his father go and look. But at the times, we have spiritual children, and we have our own children. My when God. the 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 boys from the leaders, we know where they are. We are supposed to go and look for them and see what's happening. Because we don't know what could have caused Right, but could have caused them to really stray and the Lord is telling us he hope in other words, Jesus Christ is saying, I'm going to hold you guilty for not seeking out that which was lost. So tell it be bold, bless us and give us and strengthen us and as we go about, you know, this uh, this sort of this sort of a uh, 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 meeting we realize and how fruitful, how blessed it is, you know, yes. how how, how deep it is causing us to think and to move on to act and to do. So I thank God today for this words and I pray God that all fathers, that it's the spiritual children, or if it's um the own children, it might be said to be even a, 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 a good son in a, in, a, in a home or a neighbor. My God. But the Lord is showing us and fathers, things slip out and we, we, we leave it to go away, you know, and we, we, we need to go back and find them. Oh, yes. see, see, see. We need to go back. We need to go back and find them. My God. But they are all precious unto Him. But they are all washed and anointed and called sons of God. They know the name, but in Jesus Almighty. Amen. Praise Amen. Praise 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 Praise